Welcome to Dexcel Energy Manager 3.0. In this demo, we'll show you the basic functionality of one of the market's best energy management solutions. We'll use the case of Chain of Supermarkets to show you the main functionality of the Dexcel Energy Manager, focusing on three supermarkets, one in San Francisco, one in New York, and one in Chicago. This is the main Dexcel Energy Manager dashboard. Login brings you right to this screen which gives you a quick overview of your facilities in real time. Dashboard indicators are fully configurable widgets that present information in a way that's clear and easy to understand. When we detect an inefficiency, we can go to the analysis, reporting, or alerts areas to view the facility in more detail. The Dexcel Energy Manager's navigation functionality, which is based on hierarchies and filters, makes it extremely easy to locate exactly the information you need. We'll have a look at the three supermarkets in New York, San Francisco, and Chicago and monitor their general consumption by viewing the utility meter and its consumption of HVAC, refrigeration, and lighting. You can create an unlimited amount of dashboards. For our analysis of the three supermarkets, we've created a different dashboard for each of our user profiles, energy manager, finance director, and maintenance staff. Users can set up their own dashboards and share them with other users, which saves time and keeps teams in sync. The analysis area is where we access all our data so we can understand consumption patterns in our facility or group of facilities. The Dexcel Energy Manager analysis tools help you to easily visualize and understand consumption, cost, evolution, and billing. For example, if we want to view the real-time consumption of our New York store, we just go into the Consumption Tools and select all the meters installed. What we see is in real time. The chart shows us hourly consumption for the past week. We see exactly what time lighting and HVAC systems are switched on and off and how much energy they are consuming. We can see here that refrigeration levels are constant, but they should be changing according to outside temperature. We can also view the evolution of energy consumption for each individual meter from week to week. If we select a date range and choose to view weekly consumption, Dexcel Energy Manager displays an overview of the consumption trends of facilities so we can identify patterns. All data and graphics can be exported to Excel for future reference or graphical reports. Let's go now to a global view where we can compare our three supermarkets. We'll select fiscal meters and do an hourly comparison. We can see that the activity level by hour is similar in the three stores, but that there are notable differences among consumption levels. It appears that the Chicago store consumes the least, followed by San Francisco and then New York, which has the highest level of consumption. We can go into more detail by viewing the daily evolution over the course of a year and can see that the variations we have identified are visible throughout the year. This might be the result of variations in surface area, weather variables, consumer volume, or other factors. Because there are so many things that might affect inconsistencies, we need a fast and intuitive tool that allows us to easily view energy use in the context of a range of variables so we can pinpoint exact causes. This is where ratios are especially useful. For example, when we factor in the surface area of the stores, we see that the Chicago supermarket, which originally ranked first for energy efficiency, falls to second place and the San Francisco store comes in first. We can filter our original results by entering a wide range of ratios like degree days, average temperatures, tickets, occupancy levels, average sales, or anything else that might be useful to understanding exactly what is affecting consumption. Let's repeat the analysis, but this time focusing on the lighting systems in particular. First, we'll select three lighting meters and compare their yearly consumption. When we control our results for surface area, we see that from the beginning of the year up until August, the New York store averaged a consumption of 0.6 kilowatt hour per square feet, which is higher than that of Chicago at 0.37 kilowatt hour per square feet, and much higher than the San Francisco store's consumption at only 0.2 kilowatt hour per square feet. So we know right away that we have a problem of excess lighting in the New York and Chicago locations. We can look more closely to see that lighting levels are in fact double what they should be. Values of more than 2,000 lux are showing up when the established baseline for a retail space is closer to 750 lux. Looking more closely, we can see that shutting off one out of every two fluorescent lights on July 7th in the New York store and on August 8th in Chicago 
effectively reduced the kilowatt per hour square feet ratio and brought down the lighting consumption of the three stores to similar levels. The Dexcel Energy Manager Comments feature allows us to easily log these changes and their energy saving results so we can better track and manage projects. We just click Add Comment, select the date on which the improvement was implemented, and add a title and description to identify the improvement. We then select the kind of comment, the location where the improvement was implemented. Here we indicate New York, and we publish our comment. Once published, our comment is visible in the graphic in the form of an icon. When we mouse over the icon, the title of the improvement appears. Now that we have implemented our lighting efficiency improvements, we can look at how they translate to savings. The evolution screen lets us compare four different time periods, by day, month, or year, which helps us see the evolution of our consumption over time. We select the New York store and its lighting node, and then select a before and after the efficiency implementation, and we evaluate our results. A graphic displays two colored curves representing weekly consumption. The blue represents before, and the green represents after. In the chart below the graph, we can clearly see a reduction in lighting consumption. Our weekly lighting consumption of 4,000 kilowatts per week has dropped by nearly 40%. Seeing how much energy we are saving is extremely useful, but it's even more interesting to see how this translates to financial savings. For this, we simply go to the cost screen where we can see in real time exactly how much money we are spending according to the particular tariff. If we look at the cost of lighting at the New York location, we see a cost of over $3,000 a month. The graphic shows us that most of the consumption comes from the peak level, which corresponds to the contracted tariff 3.0A. We select lighting, choose a weekly view, and look at the levels one week before the implementation of the improvement. We refresh the screen and can view the hourly consumption for the selected week. We see that there is hardly any passive consumption and also see penalties for peak hours. The Dexcel Energy Manager quickly calculates the weekly lighting consumption based on these factors and comes up with a weekly cost of over $700. If we view consumption in dollars after the implementation, we see that our weekly cost represents a yearly savings of $15,000. Beyond what we have seen here, the Dexcel Energy Manager offers a multitude of tools that help you to easily analyze and detect potential inefficiencies. You can use its intuitive tools to measure passive, reactive, or other kinds of consumption, or even customize a screen with particular variables. For example, HVAC consumption by degree days and create direct access to it from the toolbar. Let's go now to the reports area where we find all of our reports and view those generated during a particular project. You can use a public template or use the Reports Assistant to customize a report. We just select a template and activate it. We can automate a report to be generated and sent to our inbox every Monday or every first of the month. The platform displays a historical of all reports, filterable by template type and configuration. We can generate simple weekly reports like this one, or more advanced monthly reports like this one. We can create reports that simulate electric utility invoices so we can compare our invoices with those of the distributor or reports that show costs accrued by first of the month or ones that analyze HVAC in detail. Reports allow us to track different indicators throughout the project lifecycle and deliver them in an easy to understand format to the energy manager, the finance director, or the end customer. Another valuable feature of the Dexcel Energy Manager is the alerts area. Alerts are extremely simple to configure and let us put the system to work for us by configuring it to carefully monitor variables and alert us the instant there is an inconsistency. This means we can react immediately to malfunctioning systems and failures and greatly reduce downtimes. The Dexcel Energy Manager has a range of pre-configured alerts that are designed to catch common potential problems such as excesses or reactive penalties which show us the exact cost of a penalty as soon as it is incurred. The alerts area is organized by locations by our custom configuration which makes it easy to access and view all alerts that have gone out. We can also configure alerts to be sent by email or SMS to anyone registered in the platform. This should give you a good sense of the most basic of Dexcel Energy Manager 3.0's extensive functionality.
you have seen its ability to improve all aspects of energy management. From analyzing the consumption of an individual facility to doing comparative analysis, to detecting potential savings, to determining the monetary value of improvements, to its ability to give you full visibility of your facilities and systems by using reporting and alerts. Register online at www.dexcel.com to see another demo that demonstrates how Dexcel Energy Manager effectively improves energy management in the Case 2 corporate buildings, where electricity and gas are monitored, and also of a large industrial complex where electricity, gas, and water are tracked and analyzed. Thanks for your attention, and thanks for being energy efficient.